a very good morning children hope you all are keeping well and before commencing the chapter i would like to inform you that the notes of the earlier taught chapters uh, is sent to you yesterday that is on saturday through broadcast okay that is you will be receiving the notes in your whatsapp now uh, and you won't get it in the website children okay so everyone be very clear that you will be receiving your notes in your whatsapp number that is i am sending it through the broadcast and you won't get it in the website so better everyone you complete your notes on time and be regular with your studies already it's the year is coming to an end now and uh, you all are the board children 10th class is your board so be very sincere and try to do the best you can do okay so now uh, the chapter the necklace was in continuation children so let's a little bit recall what we learned till the last class we came to know that matilda had lost her necklace when she had gone to the ball and now when she told her husband they both started uh, searching the necklace and lazel um, uh, she uh, went out uh, to see they searched in all the places okay but they didn't find it anywhere okay and at the end of the week matilda told her husband to replace the necklace so when they went to one of the shop okay they found that it cost 40000 francs but they could get it for 36000 and uh, matilda's husband had 18000 francs from his father but the rest he borrowed from the uh, various lenders money lenders at high interest rate okay and after that they were able to buy the necklace and they returned it to madam forestier so uh while returning even madam forestier said that she should have returned it earlier okay now after that means they had to do very very hard work to collect all that money okay uh, that is 36000 francs so uh, we came to know that uh, this uh, madam lazel okay she had to lead a very horrible life and uh, why because they would have to return the borrowed money also so what matilda did she sent away the maid and uh, even they went to the cheaper uh, lodgings uh, she washed the dishes and even uh, brought up the water herself and uh, just uh, her husband worked day and night and they were facing the hardest time of their life and what happens then even this continued for 10 years okay so let's see then what happens as i told you that uh, she, what all work she had to do which she had never done and she had to lead a very miserable life okay now look in your book children over here now i have to start from here uh the next para from your book be with me and try to understand further the chapter the husband worked evenings putting the books of some merchants in order and nights he often did copying at five saws a page and this uh life lasted for 10 years at the end of 10 years they had restored all madam lozel seemed old now she had become a strong hard woman the crude woman of the poor household her hair badly dressed her skirts awry her hands red she spoke in a loud tone and washed the floors with large pails of water but sometimes when her husband was at the office she would seat herself before the window and think of that evening party of former times of that ball where she was so beautiful and so flattered now what happened not only matilda had to do the uh, very hard work to collect uh, that huge amount but contrary her husband okay mr lazel 
he also worked the whole evenings means he was doing the uh, shift uh, duty means uh, to earn more putting the books of some merchants in order what job he was doing in the morning he was putting the uh, books means the account books which are being maintained by the traders okay so he used to write the accounts and maintain that books in order and at the nights he often did copying he in during the night time he used to uh, copy the things at five saws a page what is this saws saw is actually a french currency okay that is a part of a franc one part of one franc means uh, a very little amount okay so for uh, five saws he used to copy the things okay and this life lasted for 10 years see how long it went and at the end of 10 years they had restored all restored means given back means the whole amount which they had borrowed from all the lenders at high interest it was paid back okay so that is the restored means all the debts they had cleared now next madam lazel how it's the appearance of madam lazel is given at the end of the 10 years of such hard work now now her appearance had totally changed now she doesn't look pretty as she used to look before 10 years but now she looks very old okay and she had become a strong hard woman now uh, she is not tender or she is not so charming now but she has become a very strong and hard woman the crude crude means very rough she had become rough of the poor household but now she is uh, leading a poor life and uh, doing her household works her hair now are badly dressed okay and her skirts awry or it means improper her clothes are also not properly worn her hands have got red because she had to work very hard the whole day using her hands doing all the works and she started speaking in a loud tone even and now she washes the floors with large pails of water buckets means uh, filling the buckets and used to wash the floors so doing all these things she had totally changed now but sometimes what happened when her husband used to go to the office and when she used to sit uh, before the window and she, when she thinks of that evening party of the former times which she had attended the ball okay the time when she was so pretty and full of enthusiasm of that ball okay so that time how beautiful and uh, uh, how charming she was how pretty she was and that's why she was flattered flattered me she was praised greatly by all the people she used to think of those past days sitting near the window next para how would it have been if she had not lost the necklace who knows how singular is life and how full of changes how small a thing will ruin or save one see children in this para we gets the most important lesson of our life here okay so what uh, madam lazel is thinking over here that if she had not lost that necklace in that ball which she had borrowed from one of her friend madam forestier then how it would have been now where she would have been now okay and who knows but okay that what happens in the life how singular is life singular here means how separate means uh, just a little incidents in our life how it changes our life completely okay and how small a thing will ruin or save means a just a very small incident took place that one necklace was lost okay but she never knew that that necklace will ruin her whole life it will change her life completely isn't it means we even don't know children sometimes uh, uh, we to borrow the things from others though we don't need that 
okay but still we just want to have the luxuries of life to enjoy it and that simple mistake it can ruin the life because we don't know actual cost of that thing and if it gets lost anyhow we will have to return it back okay and in that way really it can make us fall in any trouble so that's why we should utilize or use the things what we own or what we possess ours we should not try to get from others okay try to do it so now what happens one sunday as she was taking a walk in the sham palace to rid herself of the cares of the week she suddenly perceived a woman walking with a child it was madam forestier still young still pretty still attractive madam lozel was affected should she speak to her yes certainly and now that she had paid she would tell her all why not so one sunday while uh, she was taking a walk who madam lozel okay in the sham palace uh, this is one of the a very beautiful place over there in, in france to rid herself okay to just get herself of the cares means after working the whole week when she was tired so just she uh, thought of taking a small walk and when she went there to shams alice what she went she suddenly perceived a woman okay she met one woman there walking who was holding one child in her hand and who was that yeah she was madam forestier and she looked very young so pretty and so attractive so charming till that day okay and madam lozel was very much affected means impressed by her seeing madam forester's appearance so she was thinking that whether she should speak to her and then she decided yes why not certainly she can definitely she should speak because now she had already uh, paid all the amount and uh, already uh, now there is no worry okay so she should tell her everything what happened to her that time okay so she uh, decided to tell that incident what happened with her 10 years before so she approached her good morning jan her friend did not recognize her and was astonished to be so familiarly addressed by this common personage she stammered but madam i do not know you must be mistaken no i am matilda lazel so when she went to her to talk who uh, lazel she went to madam forester okay and she greeted her by saying good morning jan but madam forester john forester she didn't recognize she didn't recognize her and even uh, she was astonished okay means uh, surprised that uh, in such a familiar uh, way who is that person calling her by name and she stammered to speak in a broken tone okay stammering uh, that she said that uh, i don't know and uh, you might be mistaken okay uh, i don't recognize you so uh, maybe you may want to call some other one so she said no i am matilda lucel okay so her friend uttered a cry of astonishment oh my poor matilda how you have changed so after hearing that she was her old friend matilda lucel so she just uh, gave a loud sound of surprise that oh my dear matilda see how greatly you have changed really i can't recognize you yes i have had some hard days since i saw you and some miserable ones and all because of you because of me how is that you recall the diamond necklace that you loaned me to wear to the minister's ball now see she had already decided that she would tell her that whole incident what happened during that time past 10 years so 
now she started telling a story that she had to lead a very hard very tough days okay and uh, since uh, i saw you and some miserable ones means i had to lead very miserable very pitiable life and what she added that's all because of you she's telling to madam forester all this happened in my life only because of you so she was again shocked that how it's possible how because of me you led a miserable life she's asking okay so uh, madam loisel is saying do you remember that diamond necklace that you had loaned means you had uh, lent it to me to wear during that minister's ball when that party was there yes very well well i lost it how's that since you returned it to me so madam loisel said that i had lost that necklace so madam uh forester is again shocked it's not at possible because already you had returned it to me so what lozel is saying i returned another to you exactly like that and it has taken us 10 years to pay for it you can understand that it was not easy for us who have nothing but it is finished and i am decently content madam forester stopped short she said you say that you bought a diamond necklace to replace mine so see now what happens at the end children okay so uh, now madam forester is asking that already you had written to me then what you are saying so miss lizel is saying mrs lizel is saying that that i hadn't written your necklace but i had returned exactly the same necklace the copy of that necklace to you and that took 10 years to me to pay for that necklace which i had replaced okay and you can also understand she said that it was not easy for us okay because we uh, were not so rich and we belong to just uh, a poor family hardly we could survive and we had nothing we don't we never had any balance bank balance or anything that we could have purchased that much costly necklace okay but already everything is over i had paid all the debt which we had borrowed and that whole story she told now i am decently content means now i am greatly satisfied that at least i had returned your necklace and also i had paid all the debts which we had borrowed from the lenders money lenders okay so madam forester she just stopped a while and she just thought and said that how she could say that it was so costly that it took 10 years okay so then she asked her whether you bought a diamond necklace to replace mine whether you had purchased any diamond necklace that it had took 10 long years to repay the amount yes you did not perceive it then they were just alike okay perceive here means uh, see from mind okay so uh, she said yes so uh, what she said that you didn't see it from mind they were just alike they were means you never saw that which i had just given it to you it was just similar to the necklace which you had given to me and she smiled with proud and simply joy madam forester was touched and took both her hands as she replied oh my poor matilda mine were false they were not worth over 500 francs so uh, when madam lozel she smiled with proud that see though it was so costly necklace still she managed to just return it back she was really so happy and content at that time but at the end what she had to hear madam forester she was really touched by that and she took both the hands of her friend madam uh, this mrs leozel in her hand and she replied my dear matilda my dear friend that my necklace was not of diamond it was the artificial one okay and it never worth it was not more than even 500 francs 
ओके इट कॉस्ट लेस देन इवन फाइव हंड्रेड फ्रैंक्स एंड यू हैड गिवन मी द रियल डायमंड नेकलेस ओके सो सी दिस वॉज द एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी होप सो यू अंडरस्टूड इट वेल चिल्ड्रेन दैट सी समटाइम्स इट हैपन्स ओके एंड वाई इट हैपन इफ हियर मैडम ल्यूजल she would have been satisfied with her life she would have been used what she had possessed okay and if she never had gone to that materialistic world of showing and everything then she would not have suffered and she would led her life very happily but what she did it just brought her a uh, really bad luck and ruined her life completely okay so here just a very good lesson as we already came to know that what we learned from this i don't have to repeat i hope so it again so dear children again i'm asking you that try to complete all your notes on time so let's stop here the lesson completes here and goodbye till the next lesson have a good day children